Okay, so we're going to solve this very interesting equation um, for x, and we're going to try to figure out for which x this equation holds true, right? Okay, so basically the solution set for this equation. So um, first, I'm going to look at these two here, right? And I'm going to use the product rule of logarithms, right? So using the product rule, I know ln of 2x plus 1 times x minus 3, right? This guy times this guy. And then here, I'm going to use the power rule. Remember, I can put this coefficient in the exponential spot, right? So minus ln x squared is equal to 0, right? So now here, I can use the quotient rule. So this implies that ln, big guy here, 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 all over um, x squared is equal to 0. And now this is a really nice um, equation that we have set up here because now I can just make the base e. So I can have e to the natural log of 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 all over x squared is equal to e to the 0. Of course, e to the natural log of something is that something, and e to the 0 is just 1. So this gives me 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 over x squared is equal to 1. Now I can multiply both sides by x squared to get 2x plus 1 times x minus 3 is equal to x squared. And now I can finally distribute these guys. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. 1 times x is x. And 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. All right, so now I want to fit this in the quadratic form, right? Remember, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So in order to do that, I just need to subtract both sides by x squared. So if I subtract both sides by x squared, that'll give me x squared here. And then negative 6x plus x is negative 5x uh, minus 3 is equal to 0. Now that I have it in the quadratic form, I can use the quadratic formula, right? So this implies that x is equal to negative, so negative b, so b in this case is negative 5, uh, plus or minus the square roots of negative 5 squared, right? b squared minus 4a, a in this case is 1, and then c in this case is negative 3, right? And that's all over 2a, and we know a in this case is 1. So this gives me um, x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root. So negative 5 squared is 25, uh, and this will be negative 4 times negative 3, so positive uh, 12 all over, right, all over 2. Of course, we can reduce this to let me move it a little bit. So we can reduce this to x is equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 37 over 2. Now, uh, we have to pick the ones that actually fit into the domain of each of these here, right? And since we have ln of x, that means for this particular one and for all of them, we need to have x be completely positive, right? Remember the domain of the natural log of x, right, is equal to uh, 0 to infinity, right? The domain of the natural log of x is, is from 0 to infinity, right? So since we have a natural log x here, right, it has to be we have to have that x be positive, right? 
So let's look at the negative or five minus the square root of 37 over two, right? So x is equal to five minus the square root of 37 over two, right? So um, we can see that this is going to be negative, right? Because five is the same thing as the square root of 25, right? And of course, the square root of 25 minus the square root of 37 is gonna be a negative number, right? So this is not in here, right? This is not in the interval from zero to infinity, right? It's not in the domain of the natural log of x. So we actually cannot take this input for a solution. However, we can take the other input, right? We know that x is equal to five plus the square root of 37 over two is an element of the interval from zero to infinity, right? So we know that this solution does fit in here, right? So that means the solution, this five plus the square root of 37 over two makes it so that this equation is valid, okay? So the elements of the solution set are gonna be just one, five plus the square root of 37 over two.